Ronita Carroll, and I am the Executive Director of Family and Community Engagement at Spring ISD. I'm here to remind you that Spring ISD parents and guardians will have the opportunity to meet with their child's teacher during Parent-Teacher Conference Day at each Spring ISD school. This is a great opportunity to stay informed about your child's academic progress, to extend the lines of communication with your child's teacher, and you can develop strategies with your child's teacher to ensure your child's success. It's important that you're prepared for this meeting. So here are a few recommendations. Before the conference, have a conversation with your child about school. Ask your child how he or she feels about school. Ask your child if there's anything he or she wants you to discuss with the teacher. This will allow your child to feel like they're a part of the process even if they are not participating in the conference. After all, it is their education. You also want to prepare a list of questions to ask the teacher beforehand. You may want to ask things like, what are my child's strongest and weakest subjects? Does my child submit homework and schoolwork on time? Does my child seem happy at school? This may help uncover any underlying social or emotional issues that need to be addressed. Most important, you want to ask, what can I do at home to help? This shows the teacher your commitment to your child's educational success. During the conference, you'll want to follow these tips. Listen carefully and take notes. It's important to listen with your ears and your heart. The teacher may tell you some not so happy news about your child's progress. Don't take it personally. Remember, the teacher is there to partner with you and make sure your child does well in school. You also want to develop a plan to address any areas of improvement that will help your child's performance. Ask for explanations of anything you don't understand. Sometimes as teachers, we forget to speak in plain English and we may overuse educational jargon. So it's okay to stop the teacher and ask them to clarify what they're saying. Ask the teacher for ways that you can help at home. Finally, it's important to thank the teacher at the end of the conference. After the conference, when you get home, you want to make sure you talk to your child about the things you discussed with his or her teacher and give your child the opportunity to provide any feedback. Also, tell your child about any plans you develop with the teacher. Let your child know that you and the teacher are committed to their success and that the plan will help ensure that success. Finally, keep in touch with your child's teacher throughout the school year. I hope these tips are helpful as you prepare to meet with your child's teacher. Remember, we are all in this together to ensure your child is successful in school and in life.